Hello everyone, so in this video I will explain to you the difference between Ishikawa and the 5Y. So there is a lot of mismatch and a lot of misunderstanding between uh, both tools, Ishikawa and the 5Y, and the people they don't know exactly when to use Ishikawa and when to use the 5Y and also what is the link or what is the purpose behind so at the end of this video you will understand everything about Ishikawa and everything about the 5Y and when you can apply both of them so firstly the Ishikawa and the 5Y they are linked between both of them so we cannot use Ishikawa without the 5Y and also we cannot use the 5Y without Ishikawa. So firstly, we are using Ishikawa to find out the potential. It's the potential causes. It's not the root cause, but the potential root causes. And the 5Y, we are using it to find out exactly the root cause. So this is the first difference between both of them. So we are using Ishikawa to find out the potential and the 5Y to find out the root cause. So what is the potential? The potential means that it could be the root cause or it cannot be the root cause. So for this reason, in the beginning, we are making the Ishikawa. So when we are using those two tools in general, we are using them in the fourth step of the AD problem solving. So there is already a video I have already explained before and you will find it right now in the head of this video and I will also put it in the description where I described all the details about the AD training and the AD steps to solve any problems in the automotive industry. So in the fourth step of the AD, you will find the root cause analysis. So when we start to analyze the root cause of any issues, the first step is Ishikawa. So this is the first step, is that we have to find out all the potential causes due to this issue so as you know the Ishikawa let's say it's like that so we are doing it like that and we have 5m it's the 5m means that we have the first m it's the manpower the machine the material the measurements and the the last one it's the method so the method how we are using or what is the method we are using for to, to 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 create any issue so at this step the people are making some kind of brainstorming so they are making the brainstorming to find out all the possible root causes so all the people, all the team are gathering together and everyone start to propose what can be the potential causes based on the 5M. So everyone can propose anything he needs and anyone should criticize what the others are proposing. So we can start by the manpower and everyone should say what can be the root cause or the potential causes regarding the manpower. The training, integration, mis error mistakes, human mistakes, uh, uh, integrations, and a lot motivation, a lot, a lot, a lot of, of potential. So they could be the root cause or they cannot be the root cause. But at this stage, we cannot select. We are just proposing all the potential root causes in order to keep and to push the people to think outside the box and to open his mind and to try to say 
anything that could impact or that could create this kind of issue. So this is the first step. So once you finish, then you start to select what can be relevant. I will just remove here. So once you finish, the people should start the second step. Second step, we are selecting what can be relevant and what can be not relevant. So every potential causes that is proposed during the Ishikawa or during the 5M, the, the team should start to select if it could be relevant or if it could not be relevant. But at this stage, it should be used with or selected with fact and data. So no one should say that based on my experience, I know, so this cannot be relevant. No, I will give you an example. Imagine that someone said that this issue could be uh, impacted or could be created based on uh, the temperature, for example. So then in the second stage, someone said that the temperature cannot be relevant. But he should not say it like that. He should provide some fact and data. He should say, for example, the temperature should not be the root cause. Why? Because it's always under control. We are measuring the temperature every day, three, time, three times a day, and it's always under control, and it's always in the tolerance. Based on the three mounts, the previous three mounts, the temperature is always under control, so it cannot impact or it cannot be the root cause of this issue, so we can remove it. So at this stage, we can consider the temperature as not relevant. So once we finish, once we collect all once we remove all what is not relevant and we keep only what is relevant, then we have to move on to the third step, which is the 5Y. So the 5Y, we are taking all what is relevant, then we start to ask the question, why? So for every relevant potential root causes from Ishikawa, we start to ask why, why this is the root cause. And to answer it itself, based it itself, we ask again a question of why. Let's take an example. Imagine that we said that it's in the manpower of the Ishikawa, we say that it's a human mistake. A human mistake. And then in the five why we have to ask the first question. Why? So why the human made a mistake? So maybe the answer is the answer is lack of training. So here we have to ask again why? So why this human didn't made the train? Why there is a lack of training? So the answer, maybe it could be that there is no uh, procedure of integration. Means that once he integrates the company, he didn't made any training why? Because there is no procedure that is managing this kind of new hiring. Then, when we have this answer, we can maybe ask again the question, why? Means, why there is missing... Why there is missing... of procedure? So maybe the answer, it could be because there is lack of a quality system management of the QSM. So maybe the question again is why there is a lack of 
quality system. So maybe the answer is that the politics of the company is not engaged on the quality system or there is no engineer who is managing this this position or 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 so then you have to ask question why 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 until you find out exactly the root cause so once you find the root cause this root cause when you turn it off the problem will disappear and when you turn it on the problem will appear again so you have to ask many times the question why it's not exactly five times this is just uh, let's say a, a number you can ask less than five times and you can ask more than five times but the purpose is to ask many times until you find out exactly the root cause of the issue so uh, this is exactly the link between both tools as i said that we are using in the fourth step of the ada reports and you cannot use the 5Y before Ishikawa and you can use